rather lengthy council meeting today and a lot of debate. We had a particularly disturbing uh, agenda item around vegetation vandalism at Hay Point. This is about the fourth time we've had to deal with this particular property uh, at Hay Point or in front of a particular property at Hay Point. Uh, and now it's come before council again and we're applying our vegetation vandalism policy, which is of course all we can do. But the councillors have asked us to actually come back with a briefing on what more we might be able to do, particularly in this case. I mean, the, the trees that we planted under the ratio that we normally plant uh, for the second or third time a vegetation vandal vandalism happens, they were just poisoned. And uh, in addition, some further trees poisoned in, in this particular area at Hay Point. And so now we've got to go back and apply, we're going to plant 15 more trees there, but you know, the odds are, because they're thumbing their nose at us, that uh, the odds are that they'll just poison those too. So we're going to see what more we can do. We'd dearly love to be able to catch the person or persons responsible because we will process them uh, to the full extent of the law if we do. We also passed a motion today, which is an alternative motion to give access or guarantee access for East Point. Now, East Point's been a, uh, a, a, an issue for a number of months now. We had to close the, the road or the track in front of the first development at East Point, and that was the, uh, the motion of the officer's recommendation that we close it completely. But there's also a, a 2005 guarantee under the development application for that particular development that guaranteed, that had to guarantee access to East Point for fisher people. And so that's what we've done today in an alternative motion. So we're going to close the track in front of the first stage of the development. Dunes Boulevard will become the initial track to East Point for Fisher people. It'll turn left off the undeveloped part of Dunes Boulevard and go back down onto the, onto the beachfront or onto that old track. And that will maintain the access until such times as Dunes Boulevard continues its development right through to East Point. And so that was a, that was a pretty, uh, pretty good alternative motion and was well supported by Council today. There was a lot of debate then around uh, another alternative motion about the skateboard mural at the Camilleri Street uh, skate park. That's a mural that went up without an approval by Council. The officer's recommendation was that uh, you know, we retrospectively approve that mural. Uh, the council as a whole decided, uh, it, was a, it was a split vote, but 3-7 uh, today. Uh, but that's the council decision now, of course, is that, you know, we will go and we'll remove that mural. The process needs to be done. The first process in a, in a visual arts program or the approval program is you've got to apply to council. If you're going to do any public art, you've got to apply to council. There's also a requirement for consultation in public art. And so that's what we want to see happen in this, in this particular case. So that's what's going to happen at the Camilleri Street Skate Park. And we hope then that uh, whatever happens will be a public approval process uh, that is followed through, that gets broad public support and comes back to council as an application.